In 1620, in Venice, a nobleman, Sartorio Sartorius, wondered why his primitive but accurate scale always came up short, as it weighed body water day after day. He correctly recognized this as unseen water loss through evaporation from the lungs in breathing. He called this loss perspiration insensibilis. It amounted to 800 cc's each day. Every hospital fluid balance record today has this item, 800 cc's, as a loss to be replaced by intake either oral or intravenous. Three hundred years later, in 1943, now immortal surgeon Owen Wagenstein recognized that a scale to measure body water was possible and thus replaced the guesswork of the centuries. But no one listened. Today, the patient dental anesthesia depends entirely on the judgment of the anesthesiologist to keep water, water, and electrolytes stable throughout the surgery. Although modern laparoscopic procedures now minimize insensible losses as they work through small incisions, there are still necessary major surgical procedures, particularly in the elderly, that require incisions that expose abdominal and chest mucous membranes to serious increases in insensible losses. These membranes literally sweat in protective action as air is encountered. The losses are guesses at best, unlike those collected by catheters from stomach and bladder. Thus only body weight can detect the correct needs for replacement at a time when we are most at risk. Six years ago, five years after Dr. Wagenstein made the first try, I used a homemade litter on a hospital scale to weigh the bedridden patient and accurately control his hydration. This then led to a scale I constructed in the machine shop, it then appearing over all the world as the in-bed scale. In the hospital, Control of hydration thus became saying scientific and no longer guesswork. Twenty five years ago, three of us designed and built in the living room a scale to fit on any operating table and provide continuous readings and normal hydration throughout a long surgery. This is the patent. It's no longer in effect for as 20 years have passed. The finished and proven product, perfected by Scaletronics, is still available, yet there are still few takers. Anesthesia has consistently refused in a hearing as they pursued their primitive practice of guessing as to insensible fluid needs that can vary from one to three liters an hour and compromise the patient's ability to stand the surgery. To underestimate can mean severe dehydration to the point of acute kidney failure. Overhydration can produce cerebral edema. Its effects on memory usually long lasting. Here is our silent surgical scale listing against the wall of the surgical suite in the VA hospital in San Francisco. I am 96 and yet still strive now through modern YouTube to justify our life-saving intentions for the surgical scale We've created, and it all started here.